Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we made this sumptuous editang soup, okay? So for those of you that doesn't know what editang leaf is, I'm going to show you that right away, okay? So as you can see here, this is the editang leaf. It looks so much like okaze okay and we we'll pluck it the same way we pluck okaze as you can see her doing just plug it one after the other until you're done and then you start cutting okay editang um like i said looks so much like okaze but the difference is that editang is much more is bitter in nature but okaze is really not so as you can see the two of them here you might not really tell the difference but if you know you know i mean we know them even in the cut in the same way they, they both of them you cut them the same way and after cutting if you look at them you might not even be able to tell the difference except you test them okay that's the only way you can tell the difference so right now we are going to continue with the cutting of the detan leaf because i'm not going to show all that process while i show you the remaining part of the ingredients so here i have my scotch bonnet pepper this is um pomo or cow skin okay this is um the meat which is um cow head then here i have dried fish um onions which are going to use to boil this meat okay then this is my crayfish and the star ingredient is some periwinkle <laughs> so guys you know this is a star in this particular recipe so i, I don't do without it in my soup so that is it and then this is the stock fish that will be going into the soup as well so right now i'm going to start by boiling the meat because this is cow head it takes a long time to cook so add the quantity of water that will be enough to cook the meat add your seasoning okay just spice the meat give it some taste this is the onions we poured it add some salt and then add some pepper you can add dried pepper or fresh pepper, any one you want. The fresh pepper is not ready yet, so that's why we're adding this dried one, okay? But you need to spice the meat. Okay, after that, cover it to start cooking. Then here, I have the prepped, washed, and, and chopped um, water leaf. And this is the editang. We are done cutting it, okay? So the next thing is to start washing. Now, guys, pay attention here. There are two methods, okay? Because like I said, editang is bitter in nature and it's also slimy in nature, just like water leaves. So we're adding salt. The essence of this salt is just to take off that slimy um, texture and secondly, to return the greenish color, you know, that fresh color after washing. Then the second method you can wash editang is as after cutting, you just boil hot water, pour it in there, cover it and leave it to settle for some minutes. Then you wash and then use to cook. But that one with the, with the hot water method, it kind of changes the color of the editang. It makes it look like cooked and, you know, it just changes the color. It doesn't look fresh anymore. You know what I mean? So, but this salt method is the best. So squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, then add some water. As you can see, as I'm, as I'm explaining, you're seeing the process. Squeeze and then rinse off the water, okay? And then, again, you sift it. And as you can see us doing, after that, we repeat this process for the second time, or you can repeat for the third time if you want, then... And be careful while sifting, guys, this bottom because of sand. So, like I said, we repeat the process. And at the end of the day, our edit tang is popping. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So, now the edit tang is ready, ready, ready. So, you can see. Very fresh. Still looking greenish. But if you use the hot water method, it won't look like this. Take note. So, now... We start the cooking proper. So I transferred the meat to the bigger pot because I used the small pot to boil it. Um, let it boil for another like 15 minutes. I add the um, bomo, then add the stock fish, cover it again to cook for maybe another 10, 15 minutes. Then we are back again. Okay, 
then at this point we add the periwinkle is some hmm? after the periwinkle we add the pepper Cotton. so after we add the pepper you just add some salt maybe like half the quantity of salt that we're using for this recipe remember the salt again in the meat stir that a little bit okay and then cover it to cook maybe for another five to seven minutes we're back again and at this point we add the water leaves a cutala the point now so we add the water leaves and then if your pot gets full as this just cover it don't bother stirring cover it and the water leaf will boil down you know that right okay so yeah this is it so it has boiled down and you can see it looking pium 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 so just give it a stir okay and then add the crayfish okay after adding the crayfish the next thing will add the dried fish okay then give that a good stir add your seasoning add your oil okay after adding the oil just cover for the oil to cook for about five minutes and we're back okay give that a good stir again and then taste for salt okay at this point the salt is not too okay but after adding the edit tank that's what we are doing now just add the edit tank okay and then sprinkle some more salt add to your taste and then cover it to cook because they say once you add the tank, do not stir it it will make it even more bitter just like bitter leaf is that true let me know in the comment section so after the editing has boiled for about um, two minutes you come back and stir and stir and stir and stir you get it if you don't get it forget about it at this point our soup is ready 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 please give this video a thumbs up now okay thanks for watching i'll see you guys by next weekend let me know your method of cooking edit tank soup